Hello, my beautiful tipsters. This is Melissa. When last we spoke, things were different in the world. Mark was still with us, and there was a lessening of anxiety about the pandemic, and those things have changed. Some of you know that we lost Mark on Friday, September 10th of 2021. I want you to know that he went quickly and peacefully. He was not ill. There were no signs. It was as if he sat down in the car that he loved in our driveway and went to sleep. I found him, but apparently it was too late. I am certified in CPR and first aid, and I did the best I could, even though I knew it was too late. The paramedics arrived very quickly in under four minutes after I called 911. They kept me on the phone making sure I was doing chest compressions, and they took over and worked very hard, but we all knew Mark wasn't coming back. It is the most peaceful way you can imagine someone going, other than maybe in their sleep, but it was fairly traumatic for me to find him because I knew my life would be different from that second forward, and it is but I'm trying to do the best I can to get back to the podcast because I know that is what Mark would want me to do. He loved the podcast as much as I do, and he believed in me way more than I ever could. And I promise you I am doing the best that I can to get back to the podcast in whatever form it's going to appear. I have not been static these months And it feels like it's been so long since I've gotten to talk with you. But you have been so amazing. You have reached out to me and left messages and emails and case suggestions. And you have left reviews and you have joined Patreon. And you have done all the things that have made me feel loved and supported in a way I can't even imagine. And I know that this is what Mark would want me to do, which is continue with the podcast, even though it's hard to imagine it without him. But I'm doing the best I can. I am tragically bad at producing, engineering, recording, mixing, editing. And that is something that Mark did that was so magnificent. So I'm going to ask for more of your patience as I try to figure this out and know that it will not sound the same, but I'm going to do the best I can to make it sound as good as I can. I'm relying on the kindness of strangers and friends, and I'm very bad at asking for help. So that is one reason it's taking a while. It does feel a bit like I'm crawling through molasses, but I want you to know I am dedicated to doing this. I'm trying very hard to get back to doing this. Very hard. Not always succeeding, but I promise you I'm trying. I haven't been completely stagnant while I've been in this sort of fugue state operating without my beloved. I took a class at a local college last winter in criminal justice, and I'm taking another one starting in the spring in criminal investigation. And the professor is crazier than a shithouse rat, and I adore him. He is retired LAPD, uh, an LAPD supervisor, and I got an A in my class last semester because I think I only got an 89, but he said I got a 90. So I'm not going to fight him, but I'm going to do better in this upcoming class. I wanted something to help me feel connected to the podcast, even if I was having trouble getting back into the swing of things. And it really did help. I enjoyed it so much. And again, I I know I'm going to enjoy this upcoming class. I'm learning so much about the Fourth, Fifth, and Sixth Amendment and about the way that law enforcement agencies operate and why. It's really kind of eye-opening and breathtaking and difficult and wonderful all at once. But the thing I need to say the most is that I can't thank you tipsters enough for being there for me, again, in ways I can't even 
express my my gratitude for i you are you are holding me together i have wonderful friends i am so blessed mark left me with great gifts mostly the desire to live the happiest and best life that i can and you wonderful tipsters are part of that so thank you again you are all priceless to me and I will be back soon, I promise, and more cowbell.